In this video, we will configure the FMX TD400 variable frequency drive for PLC motor control using TD Link configuration software. We will discuss the VFD PLC parameter setup and ladder logic function block in PLC programming. Connect the TD400 to the PC. Start TD Link. From File, New, select TD400. From the Project screen, select File and New. Select the model number. The project tree will open, displaying the parameter groups. Connect to the VFD. Parameter group 0 will open initially. Parameter 2 is the main run command source. By default, the VFD is controlled by the keypad. PLC control is selected. Click OK. Select group 3 to configure the discrete inputs. Parameter 0 is set for PLC input on S1. Parameter 1 is set for PLC input on S2. Click OK. This has set the VFD for PLC control using the discrete inputs. From the toolbar, select the Ladder Program icon. The Ladder Logic Programming screen will open. From the lower left portion of the screen, select the Input Program element. Place it in the first available position in the ladder program by clicking in the block. The edit contact window will open. The letter I designates the discrete inputs on the VFD S1 through S6. Select the store or normally open instruction and click OK. VFD input S1 is placed in the ladder. Select A for the power flow line and add the power flow as shown. Select F to place the function block in the ladder on the right hand power rail by clicking. The edit window will open. This window configures the function block to control the motor. The frequency is set. In this example, N sets a constant for the output frequency. Input a frequency of 60 Hz. The acceleration and deceleration times are set for 2 seconds. The directional control is left at low. This drives the motor in forward direction under PLC control. Click OK. The motor control function block is placed in ladder. Save the project. This saves the parameters and ladder logic. Select the right icon from the toolbar. Select station 1. Check AC Drive Parameter List as the parameters have not been written to the VFD. Click OK. Click Yes to overwrite the current VFD data. The program will be downloaded to the VFD and write verified. From the toolbar, click Run and OK for Station 1. Click No as the program has just been written. Move the status monitors near the ladder. Activating input I1 completes the power flow to the function block. The VFD will accelerate the motor to the 60 Hz RPM. Deactivating I1 decelerates the motor to zero. During a power cycle, the PLC will power up in its last run-stop state. This concludes the PLC programming procedure for TD400 VFD basic motor control. For application notes and videos on the FMX Tough Drive VFDs, visit our knowledge base.